Hello and welcome to today's video. We are on the beach in my wife's hometown. How cool is that? This is where my wife grew up as a, as a little baby. How cool is that? <laughs> so I had a really cool healing experience today. I want to share it with you. Basically, everything that I do in my work is basically just like do it myself, like do it firsthand and then share what happened and share my experience. So I'm literally just going to do that for you today. I'm going to share with you what happened. I'm going to share with you how I achieved, how we, so I didn't do this alone. I did this with one of my practitioners and I'm very, very grateful to her. Healing is compounding and it's one directional. You don't go backwards. You don't lose progress. And I'm going to explain that to you today. So if you are struggling, if you're doing really well, either way, this video is going to be really helpful for you. So I haven't had the best osteopathic care for about three months, let's say. Two months, three months. Didn't get that good care in Thailand. Like in the second place I stayed in Thailand, what I need doesn't even exist. You know, they don't do dry needling. I couldn't get that kind of support. And then it wasn't great in England and it wasn't get great in Germany. It just wasn't the kind of support that I need. And I came here and I just had a treatment. I had a treatment on Tuesday, three days ago, and I just had a treatment today on Friday. The Tuesday one, I also thought, oh, this didn't really do that much really working but today i had a really cool session and been breaking through a lot of different ways i actually just bought a new jumper and it says breakthrough on the front interesting coincidence my stomach has been feeling weird there's a really cool word that i that, that came to mind sometimes this just happens and i'd never even heard of this word before not consciously and it, i had to do some research on it the word is biliousness if you've ever heard of that word pretty cool word huh it basically means so you could think about your like your stomach and your liver feeling kind of nauseated kind of sluggish kind of like like ugh. like you that kind of feeling you know it's kind of just ugh. And it kind of, and the, the root of the word is bile, biliousness, bile. So it's connected with your liver, but it's also connected to your stomach. And I was getting this kind of gross feeling and I just didn't feel very good. And it was really affecting my mood as well. I was getting triggered really easily, really easily pissed off, really low tolerance for discomfort. It was just, oh, I was in a sit, in a stinker, you know, I'm sure you know what that's like, or you've seen someone that's in that, in that state. And it was just, oh, this is gross. This is disgusting. This feels horrible. So I went to my, my appointment today and I said, my stomach has been weird. My stomach's been really funny. It hasn't been feeling good. She poked it. She prodded it. She did some fascia treatment on it and nothing happened and i said i don't feel like you really did anything i don't feel like you really looked on my stomach and she said oh i look there's nothing there there's nothing wrong with it it's fine and that made me think that's interesting but i know it's not so she got out an acupuncture needle she did some acupuncture in my basically right where my stomach is you have a meridian point for your stomach but also you have mirrored on the other side she did it on the left side where the stomach is nothing really happened she poked it a little bit she did it it's called like the chi like you you twiddle it a little bit or you, you poke it in and out nothing she did it on the other side, and this is where the really interesting thing happened. So, I don't know how much you know about acupuncture, about dry needling, but I'll explain this to you in case you don't. When you put the needle in, it causes all of the fascia around the needle to contract, especially if you have a, if, if it's like a point that you, that really needs to be treated. So, when it's a trigger point, it will contract, and this contraction causes it to go into a spasm, and then it will relax and soften. This wasn't a contractor, there wasn't a trigger point, so I'm not thinking about this from like there actually being a physical trigger point causing like a, a tension here. It was more Along the lines of what I think was actually happening and I got some more clues as we went through this treatment but there was some kind of trapped emotion and it was stuck and when she tried to pull the needle out it was like my fascia around my stomach like from this area was actually holding the needle and I could see her pulling it and instead of it just sliding out like you would expect a needle to just slide out the skin was like gripping it like it was holding it like it didn't want to let it go I could see the look on her face she was like this is odd. Like, this is strange. This doesn't usually happen. She just left it for a bit. She did some, did she like poking it and wiggling it? And it just, it stayed contracted and it wouldn't let go. So she did two other acupuncture points in a kind of solar plexus region and then just below the belly button as well. Also digestive stimulating points. And then she tried to pull the needle out and nothing happened. And she said it won't let go. And that triggered something in me. And I thought, what am I not letting go of? What can I not let go of? What, what am I still holding? And as I thought this, I felt this sensation through my body. It was a somatic sensation of dread, of terror, of fear and panic and anxiety and it put me from like i was quite calm i was actually just done my back and massage and released a lot of trigger points i was very relaxed and then it put me in this state of like i went straight through fight and flight directly into freeze and i was like like i couldn't breathe i was like really really frozen like i can't process this obviously the session we were doing wasn't about trauma healing instead of just going with it i vocalized it i said look i can feel my body's going into a freeze state i don't need you to do anything you've already done it you've unlocked the trauma now i just need to process it and this is where i'm saying healing is compounding all of the skills that i've built up over processing trauma all of my somatic work all of the different things i've done are now applicable in this situation so i was like okay i'm experiencing this big emotion 
What do I need to do? And instead of trying to solve it, which my logical brain usually would have done, I knew, okay, you just have to feel this. You just have to experience it. You don't have to do anything. You just have to let yourself feel it and it will process throat by itself. So the needle's in. She's not doing anything. She's just waiting. I'm there. She actually has one of her hands on me, which was actually quite somatically very reassuring. I felt my body going into that free state and then it just started to twitch. I had like an odd twitch in my arm and then a twitch in my leg. And then my whole body like did this like mini like, oh, like little kind of tremor. And then I felt calm. And then the needle just slid right out, completely let go of that grip. Like, it let go. Because I let go. I let go of that somatic memory of trauma that my body was holding. And after I left that appointment, I just felt amazing. I had so much confidence. I had so much clarity. I felt less afraid. I felt really inspired. I felt like, I am a good person. I am really good at what I do. And it's like, it's weird because my inner monologue has been very negative up until this point. And I felt like my body was like trying to let go of this and it didn't know how. It wasn't being provided the environment. The thing is, your body knows how to heal itself. It just needs to be provided with the correct environment. And this created that environment for me. And because I already have all these tools in my arsenal that I'm able to bring from all the other things I've done, all the other trauma healing, all the other modalities, my understanding of meridians and like all this stuff all came in useful in this, in this context. I processed it and I let it go. I feel really good as a consequence. That's my experience. But my conclusion from this is healing is, it always goes in one direction. It's not linear. So it's not just like a straight path, but it's always left to right. Like it's always going this way. You never go back. Even when you're having a flare up, even when you're having one of the things that you think you'd solved, like reappear, even if you like learn a piece of knowledge that you think, well, that's not really useful to me right now. I promise you it will be. At some point in your process, it will be. And you can't go back. You can't, you, what I'm trying to emphasize is you don't lose progress. You're always moving forward. Even if you're having a flare up, even if things look bad, even if the nature of healing itself, the energy of healing is expansion, not constriction. When you're in a healing energy, the expansion is constant. You are always moving forward. You're always pushing out. You're always expanding the boundaries. You're always moving forward. Sometimes you need to contract to process but you will always expand back out to where your previous expansion was way easier than you ever did it before healing is non-linear but it is one directional you can't go backwards you're not losing progress ever's happening in your life right now doesn't necessarily mean you've done something wrong doesn't necessarily mean you can't heal or you're not going in the right direction it's all just part of the process and i really hate it when people say this because it really is annoying but you do have to have faith in the process you have to trust the process if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like you need reassurance, you should ask for help or you should get some support. I did. I went to see this practitioner and she really helped me. Whatever it is that you feel called towards, whatever feels intuitively like the right path for you, follow it. Because you are being supported, you are being guided, and your healing is inevitable. Just stay with it. You got this. That's everything for me today. Take care. See you soon. Enjoy the beach. <laughs> Bye.